What's up, y'all? Back with another video. No intro today. Um, I woke up like really late and I was feeling really lazy and I left my tripod in the car. A lot of excuses. Um, I could have made one if I wanted to, but I'm just lazy as fuck. Frick. Anyways, we're about to go to the gym. It's about to be a hurricane, too. I'm wearing my corrupted strength shirt, if you can see that. It's pretty sick, but it makes me look like a fat ass because it's like oversized. And it makes me look skinny because it's like super oversized, so you can't see my arms. And I'm also wearing shorts, so I look even more skinny. Anyways, we're about to get this fucking workout. Let me lock in. Here you know, we're back with another voiceover. The voiceover quality in the last one, our last video, was pretty dog shit. So I'm gonna try to like not max out the, the thing. Anyways, today is like very lightweight bench day, 155 for five. Did that for three sets. This one's second set. I like to get a side angle of this. And you see my forearms are actually vertical. The floor, my forearms would like lean forward because I'm trying to get the bar so far down my body to cut the range of motion. Not doing that, but anyways. I'm kind of arching. You can see there's a space between the back and the bench. The leg drive felt amazing. I got a little bit of a wider stance. These are the, this is the close grip variation. I did 150 for five reps and three sets of this. There's not really much to say. Bench has been feeling great. All the RPs have feeling, have been feeling what the RPs are meant to feel like. I haven't been overshooting since like the first week, which is good. I think this week I haven't overshot any of my anything except the 265 double Friday 275 instead. Because, bro, who's, who's gonna do that? Okay, moving on to the deadlifts for today. This was <laughs> supposed to be an RP7 single, and it moved like an RP9. Let's be completely honest. That was 335 for one. Now, here comes my back downs. This, I believe, is 295. Yeah, if I can do math correctly. 295 for three. I think and you can see he's all higher in the background on the right headphones falling off my face lightweight you already know I don't know I feel like my positioning is very good and then there's Dylan in the background right next is all higher on the right with the turquoise backpack Positioning felt very good. I'm actually pulling slack here, which is surprising. But my hips don't sink down when I'm pulling the slack. Moving on to the pause that lifts, changing the angle here. The pauses, I think I was pausing a bit high. I, I want the pauses to be like one inch off the ground. Right there was like a good two inches. I know what two inches is. Anywho. So how you're watching in the back. I... Yeah, that was a very high pause right there. There was only two sets of pause deadlifts, so this is the last set. Boom, and pause. In conventional, pausing is super hard for some reason. I don't know why. So two sets of three reps, because last week I did two reps on this. So we're just going to progress it by one more rep. And boom, easy. So we just got into the gym. It's literally like raining so hard right now. Girl, see this? I don't know if you can see that or not. Raining super hard. You might not even be able to hear me, but I'm fucking drenched because I parked in the back of the lot and then I didn't bring my umbrella. Uh, there's not even an umbrella in the car. Never mind. But yeah, I'm low key breaking out, but it's all good. I'm probably gonna get McDonald's because like right across the street. Other than that, the lifts were easy. Deadlifts felt really heavy. Like that RP7 single move. And we're not even going to talk about the workout because I probably did already with the voiceover. I hope. Anyways, yeah, it's going to hurricane. And I just saw lightning in the sky. And for McDonald's, I'm probably going to go with like four McDoubles. And I kind of want a McFlurry. No, I'm going to go with. Four, only four Mc, four McDoubles, not only four McDoubles. I'm gonna get four McDoubles. 
I I just I don't know I'm feeling I'm feeling good right now. Bench moved extremely well. I found my form. Why is the sky clearing up? It's about to hurricane. That makes no sense. Anyways, we're about to go home. Rest up. McDonald's mukbang, maybe? I'm down. No one told me if um I should actually talk when I'm eating. I've never watched the mukbang, so I don't actually know what it is. I'm not gonna lie. So let me watch the mukbang and then figure out what to do and then let's get it. Yo, what's up? I got a lower angle this time. So like maybe you'll be able to see the food. Um, but yeah. Oh shit. Anyways, we're back with four McDoubles. I could like four bite these, I'm not gonna lie. Just so I don't get full. And I forgot to get sauce for my McNuggets. Anyways, who actually cares? You know, I'm gonna just like eat. Yes, I'm gonna watch a YouTube video because like I can't eat without it. What I'm gonna do here, the strategy is one McDouble, one McNugget, and then I'm gonna put like fire sauce on top of it because that's the only sauce I have. And fire sauce goes on literally anything. So let's go. I don't know if I should time lapse this, I probably will. So I got through three of the McDoubles and now what I'm impolite. And now I have two McNuggets and one McDouble left. About like 80 grams of protein. Before the workout I had like 10 because I had zero milk. Yeah. So I'm gonna be at 90 after this meal. And then for dinner, of course, I'll have two and a half cups of milk because, like, why not? And then a protein shake concoction, which will be about, like, 60 grams. What's 60 plus 90? Like, 150 plus the 20 from two and a half cups of milk, which will be 170. Which is basically my goal. My goal is like 180, but it's close enough. I'm gonna have a protein bar afterwards so I can be at like 190. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'll end the video here. This one was pretty, pretty short. I'm not gonna lie. No intro, no outro, nothing crazy. And just uh, lifting in the mukbang. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to keep the video short. Like the last one was like 90 minutes long. Way too long for absolutely no reason. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the rest of the day. Probably uh, survive through this hurricane. It's more of a tropical storm. If you think this is a hurricane, then you're actually tripping. Or, well, where I'm located, though, this isn't this isn't a hurricane. Um, oh, yeah, I have a senior trip coming up from the 12th to the 16th. So in like five days. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do about the gym, to be honest. If I have my own car, I might be able to like buy a day pass for like two of the days, go lift, come home. Plus I also have online school during, during those days. So I need to get a head start. I'm not actually sure what if, oh, uh, should I take a break during my microcycle? Cause this is in the middle of my first micro cycle in week three. Oh, let me pull up a calendar really quick. Okay. So today's Sunday, I lifted. Tomorrow's Monday, I rest. On Tuesday, I lift again, which will be the 9th. On Wednesday, I lift again, which will be the 10th. Thursday, I rest. Friday, I should have a lift. Mm. Saturday, I rest. Sunday, I should have a lift. And then Tuesday, I should have a lift. Yeah. 
So I'm not sure. If I take my own car, I might be able to go to a gym in Austin, which will be pretty cool. If it's a powerlifting gym, that would be actually crazy. Like, I could go to... Oh, I forgot what what the name was, but I think Austin Perkins trains there and Nico Flores trains there. That's, like, their gym, I think. Might be able to go there if it's close enough. And I uh, could take... If I do take my own car, that might work out, but... I'm most likely going to carpool. So I'm kind of stressed out if I'm going to be able to um, actually go to the gym those days. Or if I should just like over fatigue myself, not take the rest days, go tomorrow. And just basically speed up the program to where those four days, if I miss them, then I'll be on track again. I'm, I'm kind of stressed out, bro, because... I, I want this meet to go well, even though I am super far out. If I make a mistake now, it won't be that, like, detrimental. But at the same time, I want to, like, fine-tune and hone everything in and do, like, the best I can. So, kind of stressed out about that. Also, I do have online school during those days, so I have to do online school, go to the gym, and um, still travel around Austin. Oh, yeah, my senior trip is in Austin. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm just, I'm concerned if I'll be able to get to the gym um, on those days. And like the main thing is like, I could go to the gym with my friends at, in Austin, but like they don't, they don't see it as, as like a priority that much. I see it as like the number one. I, I really don't have much going on in my life. I'm not gonna lie. Other than like the gym and college, that's literally it. So they don't see the gym as like a priority. Some of them think it's just stupid that going to the gym and like, and I just farted and working on yourself like physically matters that much. But I guess we all have our different values and priorities. And one of my values is like, you have to be like physically healthy. You need to prioritize exercise and like, not just don't, don't be like a couch potato, bro. Don't like Stay at home all day. Don't go outside. Don't do exercise. You want to do exercise. It's really good for you. I mean, that's like a no-brainer. But some people think it's just like a waste of time and they can get away at a young age, like not training at all. Even though I'm not that strong and I might be talking down on people like that, I'd much rather you not be strong and then go to the gym and like actually make the effort of trying to better yourself. Because outcome doesn't matter. It's the effort in which you are doing the process that actually matters if that makes any sense it made sense to me i'm not gonna and it kind of made not really it didn't make that much sense to me but yeah at least like make the effort to make yourself better that's why it's i like to push out to people even if you might not be the strongest you might not look the best you might not weigh what you want to weigh you might not be as tall as you want to be you might not look the way you want to look but at least if you're trying to make yourself better that's all that matters you know like, all the things I just listed are my insecurities, by the way, that I just don't like about myself, you know? But at least I'm trying to make the effort of, like, just trying to be better every single day. If you can get better, like, 1% every day, that's all that matters, instead of, like, regressing or staying in the same place for multiple years on end. Anyways, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, hopefully I can go to the gym in Austin and, like, record everything. That would be sick. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I really want to go to that gym in, in Austin. I forgot what the name was. Oh, it's not 21st Barbell. Uh, 4th Street Barbell? 3rd Street Barbell? I think it's 3rd Street Barbell. I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Let me see. Um, frick. He might have it right here. No, I don't care about the audio. I need to know where, where this is. Game day barbell. That's what it's called. Let me see. 24-7 guest pass. Day pass is 20. Okay, you're, you're kidding me, bro. $25 day pass. You have to be kidding me. 24-7 access? Really? Huh. 24 7 though i'm sure there's other <laughs> other gyms in austin that i might be able to go to um uh, can i see the location though tour us sure 
15 minute tour. I, where, where is your location, bro? Oh, I found it. Sorry if this is like a, a long clip, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just trying to see where this is. Game day barbell. Is it close to UT? Yeah, it's somewhat close. Anyways, I'm gonna try to go. If I take my own car, I'll probably be able to go, go to the meet, not meet, go, go lift in like the morning and do all my schoolwork in the morning and then in the afternoon go ahead and explore and have fun and all that stuff. But I'll go ahead and like discuss it with my friends if they want to go to the gym and stuff, and we'll see.